Time to go. And gentlemen, the Niluth Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Elhingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal! But... Caltilia, on the other hand... Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Oh, good thing Elhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! I know they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast. Don't be nervous, Bongo Head. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. <laughs> Still got this! 
fail. Everyone, retreat now! Fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before, and it's super fun! That beast hammer and her fungi work together pretty well, almost as well as the two of us! That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Miko and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knocked the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so... I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! All right, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock! Let's get the view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time, snack time! Wait a second. Are we here for training, though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send mitochondrials. Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and he have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Yeah, 
It takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miko's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology. The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship. I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Kaima wants to get to know the real Bongo Head, too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzara when you're knee-deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! 